Set between 1945 and 2015, Irish author John Boyne's novel The Heart's Invisible Furies, 2017, tracks a half-century of social change in the Republic of Ireland. Through the life of Cyril Avery, the adopted child of a fallen woman, who, having to hide his homosexuality in Ireland, moves abroad in order to live openly as a gay man. The tenth novel for adults by Boyne, a prolific author of both adult and young adult fiction, best known for the boy in the striped pajamas, The Heart's Invisible Furies received broadly positive reviews. Kirkus Reviews summarized the novel as dark and marred by occasional melodrama but lightened by often hilarious dialogue. Cyril's story begins before his birth. His mother, Catherine Goggin, is banished from her tiny rural hometown of Goline, County Cork, after the local priest, Father James Monroe, denounces her as a whore for becoming pregnant out of wedlock. In an aside, Cyril's narration notes that Father Monroe would later be discovered to have fathered two illegitimate children himself. Catherine moves to Dublin, where she finds a job in a tea shop. She befriends two gay men, and she is trying to stop them from being beaten to death when she goes into labor. As soon as her son is born, she gives him up for adoption. The boy is taken in by Charles and Maud Avery, who name him Cyril. Charles is a businessman and a serial tax evader, while Maud writes novels, which gives Boyne an opportunity for some satirical dialogue at his critic's expense. There's something terribly crude about a popular book, don't you think? Indifferent parents, they leave Cyril to his own devices. At the age of seven, he forms an intense bond with his friend, Julian Woodbead. Julian is charismatic, loved by grown-ups and sexually older than his years. He suggests to Cyril that they show each other their penises, unknowingly sparking Cyril's sexual awakening as a gay man. Cyril develops a passionate crush on his charming, but heterosexual friend, hiding his passion for the sake of the friendship. As a teenager, he becomes friendly with the owner of a local tea house, Catherine Goggin. Although he doesn't know her real relation to him, he comes to depend on her, and she is one of the few people to whom he is able to come out. Homosexuality is illegal in Ireland, and Cyril is forced to have secret sexual encounters with men while disguising his sexuality in a relationship with a strict Catholic girl, Mary Margaret Moffat. When Mary Margaret becomes suspicious of Cyril, she and a policeman, Garda, follow him on one of his sexual encounters. He is saved from arrest when an IRA bomb topples a statue, killing both Mary Margaret and the Garda. In gratitude for his salvation, Cyril swears to remain celibate from now on. In 1973, Cyril is engaged to Julian's sister Alice, but on the day of the wedding, he confesses to Julian that he loves him. Julian furiously insists that Cyril go through with his marriage, and Cyril complies, only to abandon his bride at the reception. Cyril flees to Amsterdam in the Netherlands, where homosexuality is legal. For the first time, Cyril lives openly as a gay man. He falls in love and moves in with Bastian van der Berg, and together they informally adopt a son, Ignac. Cyril is happy, his happiness marred only by his guilt about the wreckage he has left in his wake. He recognizes that he allowed fear to push him into hurting people, Julian, Alice, Mary Margaret, whom he cared about. Bastian is a doctor and medical researcher, and in 1987, the family moves to New York City, where Bastian has been recruited to treat the victims of the AIDS epidemic, then at its zenith. Cyril volunteers at Bastian's hospital, and there he encounters Julian, who is dying of AIDS. From Julian, Cyril learns that he has a biological son, Liam, conceived with Alice before Cyril abandoned her. Julian has raised him as his own. Julian makes Cyril promise to tell Liam and Alice how he died. On the sidewalk outside the hospital, Cyril runs into Bastion, who comforts him. Their embrace prompts an attack by two passers-by, leaving Cyril disabled and Bastion dead. Cyril and Ignac drift, eventually returning to Dublin. There, Cyril reconciles with Alice and meets his son. He cares for his adoptive father Charles as he dies. Ireland legalizes gay marriage. Cyril learns the true identity of Catherine Goggin, along with the story of his birth. In the novel's epilogue, Cyril is the best man at Catherine's wedding. His whole family is there, and he is happy among them. However, dying of an inoperable brain tumor, he has already begun to commune with the ghosts of Bastion, Julian, and his other lost loved ones. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.